Switching gears now, dozens of people gathered at Hyde Park to rally against the city's decision to ban vehicles in Hyde Park that came into effect a year ago. Now, these unhappy parkgoers launched a petition to bring vehicles back to Toronto's largest public park. They say the city's move is limiting who can visit and, in the end, enjoy the park, especially seniors and those with disabilities. Since last summer, drivers have only been able to drive in the park on weekdays. But protesters say that they are also worried about the city's plans to make the park car-free every single day. The battle is about access. It's nothing, we're not, we're not pro-car, we're not anti-cyclists. People want access. They, they can't get into the park. They can be dropped off at the edges of it. A lot of people can't walk two to five K, which it would take to even go and enjoy the zoo or the, the, the hillside gardens or any of the, all the real amenities in this park are in the middle. So if you can only walk five or 600 yards, you're stuck. This is a travesty. This is an outrage, basically. It's an ageist, discriminatory move. It's not adequate access for the disabled. They are literally making the park inaccessible to the disabled. The accommodations are inadequate. I'm a retired lawyer. I, I equate it with a constructive firing. Make the life so miserable, make it so difficult, and we'll stop using it. So make your job so miserable and you'll quit. Well, we are going to have to quit High Park. Well, City of Toronto says that there are 276 parking spaces still in the park and about 1,200 spaces within 800 metres of the park. And that the phase of changes to the park include widening the sidewalk, a new shuttle bus service and consideration for paid parking.